In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a diverging bar chart when you only have one metric. So in this example that I have on my blog, you see that I've got two metrics, one for 2012 internet usage and one for 2011 internet usage. But let's say that we have just one measure called internet usage and we want to split it up left to right by region, say east versus west. So let's see how we would go about doing that. So let's start with sales as an example. I'm going to drag sales to the column shelf. And I want to only compare, let's say that I want to create a scorecard that kind of compares the east to the west with the east going one direction and the west going the other direction. So first I'm going to just go ahead and filter my regions to the east and the west. And when I put region on the color shelf, you'll see the tablet gives me a stacked bar chart. Well, really what I want is I want zero to be here at the middle and I want the west to go to the left and I want east to go to the right or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. So to do that, I'm going to just double click on my sales field in my column shelf and I'm going to write a little formula. I'm going to say if index, which is a table calculation, equals one, then give me the sum of sales. Else, give me the negative sum of sales end. And it doesn't look like it changed anything other than the name on my, on my axis. But what I could do is I could now come down here and tell Tableau to compute that using the region. And there we go. My west sales go to the left, my east sales go to the right. And what I could do then is I could put sales on the label. And you'll see now my users won't see the difference. I could go ahead and hide that header. And that gives me a nice little diverging bar chart. I could then continue to add to this. So maybe now I want to go to, uh, let's say that I want to put uh, profit on the view as well. Well, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, unhide my, uh, my header. There we go. And let's say that I want to look at maybe the total discount. So I could, put, I could create a shared access view. And then with discount, I want to do the same thing. I just want to say if index equals one, then sum of discount, else negative sum of discount, end. And then I go ahead and tell Tableau to compute that using region. And then I'll reorder these. All right, so now I could go ahead and I could edit the alias for this first one. I could call it sales. Now I already have that name, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put sales with a space. And then let me edit the alias for this one, and I'll call it discount for the space. And there we go. Now I can see my average sales and my average discount. Now the problem is that with the discount is the numbers are so small, so it makes it kind of hard to see it. So in that case, what you might want to do is just duplicate the sheet. And I'm going to go back to sheet one and remove the discount. Oops. Let's get rid of discount. So this is just my sales and hide the header. Or actually, maybe what I'll do here is I'll, I'll go ahead and just name this sales. And then edit my axis and get rid of my tick marks. There we go. So now I can drag that down and make it look nice and neat. All right, from there, I would probably clean this up a little bit. I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of all of my formatting, get rid of my, uh, get rid of my axis rulers and get rid of my grid lines. Okay, I like the zero line there, so I'm gonna leave it. So then I can do the same thing over here. This time I wanna get rid of the sales, and then I'm gonna rename this discount. Okay, and on the label, obviously I would wanna put discount this time. And uh, maybe I'll call this sales discount and let's do one more. So I'm going to duplicate this sheet again. And let's say we want to do, uh, let's say the uh, average shipping cost. So I'm going to right click and drag shipping cost to the columns. Pick average shipping cost. And again, I just want to do if index equals one, then average shipping cost, else negative average shipping cost, end. And then compute it using the region. And let's go ahead and call this average shipping cost.
cost. And uh, so from there, uh, so let's call this shipping cost. So from there, what, maybe what I'll do is I'll go here, go to sales. Let me just copy the formatting so that I can quickly get rid of all my lines. Paste formatting, there we go. All right, and then here again, I'll double click on my axis and turn off my tick marks. So it looks like it's just the average shipping cost there. All right, do the same thing here. Go ahead and turn off my tick marks. Because really what I'm trying to do is compare these from left to right. All right, so uh, I need to put my, and okay, so this is my shipping cost, so I wanna go ahead and put my average shipping cost on the labels. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and format that. And let's make it in currency. And let's set the, yep, so and then let's set it to dollars. So that's my average shipping cost. Uh, maybe my discount, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's leave that, let's leave that alone. So let's go ahead and format my discount. And uh, let's go ahead and set this to the same thing, currency dollars. And then lastly, we've got sales and we could format that to currency and dollars. Okay, so now the last thing I might do is throw them all together on a dashboard. So let me just go here and I'll go ahead and put on discount. And actually what I'll do is throw them all in a vertical container so they space nicely. Sales, discount, and shipping cost. There we go. So in this case, you know, maybe you choose to not show the axis because we have the titles, um, you know, totally up to you. Or maybe you hide the titles and you, uh, there we go. So it depends on personal preference. Actually, I think what I would probably do is hide the headers. Hide the header. And then go ahead and center justify my titles. Oops. Undo. And my tabloid did that. All right. And then lastly, maybe what I would do is go ahead and uh, show my dashboard title. And I would call this uh, West versus East. And I would go ahead and color code these. So we'll make the West orange and bold, make the East blue and bold, center my title, and then go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, there we go. So this could be a very simple dashboard, uh, but you see it's, it, acts, it acts just like a, oops, didn't need to do that, sorry about that. It acts uh, just like a bikini chart, except um, you can see the scales are, are the same. Um, now, one other thing you'll notice here, it doesn't look like they're center justified. So let's see if we can go about fixing that. So let's go ahead and show the header. And uh, let's say, let's make these uniform. All right. And let's see if that fixes it. So let's go back here. Oops, wrong place. Okay. So uh, that didn't look like it, it fixed it, but I'll fix it up for the final version. Um, what you want to do is, is I would probably like to have these all centered so that um, the values are all it, lined up nice and, nice and neat down the middle. But hopefully you find that useful. And... Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.